Hey, welcome back. It's John, back with another product review. Um, if you've seen my videos within the past year, maybe two years, I forget how far back this was, I did a video where I tasted over 40 varieties of Japanese Kit Kats. Over there, they have matcha, plum, uh, sweet red bean, um, every kind of fruit, different types of sakis. I think there was like at least four different types of sakis, at least four or five different types of matcha. And they have ones that had like fruit and, and stuff on the top. Well, I'm doing something similar to that today, but I'm doing American Kit Kats. Uh, if you know anything about American Kit Kats, you know they are made by the Hershey's Company. Unlike in Canada, where Kit Kats are made by Nestle. So, in the United States, typically, there's not a whole lot of variety of Kit Kats. Um, in the past, there's been like a white chocolate one. Um, there's been a dark chocolate one. And the regular chocolate one, and that seems to be it for a long time. Well, recently, in 2020, they uh, had started coming out with... Um, new flavors for their for their full main bar and then also different flavors for like their snack size um, interestingly enough they don't overlap like the varieties that come in the big packs this size and the varieties that come in these little packs that come in bags have been at least for the most part separated there's some that are in both uh, categories but the ones that I have today, the ones that came in the big bar, aren't available in the small bars. And the ones that are in the small bars aren't available in the big bars. And I think I have a little theory as to like what the difference is. And, and you'll, you'll see that as I go along. I'm going to start with the small bars. And we're going to go in chronological order as to how old to new these are. So small bars, uh, I find out, I found out um, that I, I'm pretty sure that these are their seasonal. So the main bars, the big ones, are new varieties that they're going to have out um, either permanently or for a longer period of time. Whereas the ones that are snack size, those are more like for a specific, a specific time. And you'll see here, because the first one we're going to do is Kit Kat Witch's Brew. Out of all my small ones, they all come in like one pieces. The Witch's Brew actually comes in a two piece. And I think that's for a specific reason. Because Witch's Brew came out during the Halloween 2020 uh, time. And I think it's a two piece because when you're handing out like trick or treat candy, this size might be mm, too small. Whereas this one seems like if you give each person one of these, you're doing a decent job with your trick-or-treat giving out. But anyway, what the Rich's Brew is, is crisp wafers in a marshmallow flavored cream. All the flavors that I'm doing today are not just chocolate. Um, they do have, over the years, like different colored packs um, that are seasonal, but when you open it up, it's just chocolate. In fact, the... The Halloween ones, they had one that was in a black and white wrapper where the white parts of it actually glow in the dark. That's cool and all, but what was inside was just the regular uh, chocolate Kit Kat. So I broke off one piece. You can see here, it is a pale green color. I, I'm guessing that's going off of like the witch theme. It almost smells like... Um, non-dairy creamer being one of the older ones I have I can kinda of tell biting through the wafer that it is not very old but kinda of old a little on the stale side So initially when I bit into this, I wasn't really thinking 
marshmallow. Really, what is what is marshmallow? It's just a a gelatinized sugar. But as I was chewing more through it, especially with the combination of the wafer, the flavor reminded me of like a rice crispy treat. Instead of rice, you have the wafer in the middle. And then just like a rice crispy treat, what surrounds it and holds it all together is marshmallows. So yeah. The Witch's Brew one definitely tastes like marshmallows. Moving on, what's an, another holiday after Halloween? You guessed it, Thanksgiving. And what do you eat at Thanksgiving for dessert? Pumpkin pie, and this is the Kit Kat pumpkin pie. Now, this one is just one piece. It is one piece, but it's a little bit fatter, a little bit thicker than the two-piece one. It's got that orange color. Definitely spicy smelling. Pungently spicy. Let's give it a taste. The wafer is thicker than the other one. The wafer in this one is a little bit thicker. And it gets a little more crunchy chew to it. But that pumpkin pie flavor is really intense. Um, it's not so much pumpkin-y as it is that pumpkin spice. And it's really spicy. I don't like hot spicy, but spicy like it has a lot of herbs and spices. So if you like that pumpkin pie spice, you'll like this one. If you're looking for something that tastes more like pumpkin... Probably not this one. Really, who eats pumpkin that doesn't have pumpkin pie spice? It's a good one, but this one's better, in my opinion. Moving on, now we're moving from late 2020 into early 2021. And the one that you'll probably see a lot right now is this one, Kit Kat Raspberry Cream. This one is marketed as like a Valentine's Day type of flavor. So it's pink. Let's see if I can get this one open. Now I did have a pink, uh, a couple pink ones from Japan. Both in strawberry and actually a, a ruby chocolate version. As I open this I can already smell it. I don't even bring it to my nose. Very raspberry. Very raspberry. It almost looks like gum. You notice the other one had this too, where it's like... It didn't really completely cover the one side, and you can see a lot of the wafer at the bottom. I think that maybe they don't put as much care into these little individual ones as they do the, the big bars. But uh, you think like this would be something that like quality control and... Uh, taking out of the packages. Very creamy. Very artificial raspberry I think the Japan version had one that was raspberry as well and tastes pretty similar Kit Kat raspberry cream 
I still think the Witch's Brew is better. And the last seasonal one we have, and this is out already, I think because this season is so close to now. This is basically the Easter um, variety, and it is Lemon Crisp. One interesting thing about this one that I picked out, uh, if I looked at like the you know like the trapezoidal shape, this is facing up, but that's the bottom of the wrapper, and that's the, the bottom base of the candy, but that's the top of the wrapper. Is this one uh, flipped around in the wrapper, maybe? Don't smell anything yet. Let's give it like a closer sniff. Very lemony, very lemony. There it is, the pale yellow. It is coated all the way around. The bottom doesn't look too see through. Let's give it a taste. Okay. This one kind of tastes like uh, those lemon Girl Scout cookies. Which I think the name depends on which uh, Girl Scout bakery you have. I think one of them are called Lemonades. That's the one I can think of in my head. It's pretty good. It's probably my second favorite. But going back... The Witch's Brew one, definitely my favorite out of the, the holiday seasonal ones. It tastes very much like a, a Rice Krispie Treat. All right, now we've gotten four seasonals. I have four of the full-size bars. And these are new flavors they brought. Um, I believe these all came out in 2020. And I believe they're all still available. You can probably find these somewhere. Um, and we're going to go ahead and just start from the, where I have stacked on the top. There are two varieties of these kind. Kit Kat Duos. This one is a mocha and chocolate. Already smells like coffee in here. There you there's the duo you have. Is it dark chocolate? Mocha and chocolate. Crisp wafers and mocha cream with coffee bits and chocolate. It looked dark, so I didn't know if it was dark chocolate or not. But then the top you have this lighter color with uh, some darker bits in it. Definitely smells very coffee like. Looking for mocha? It's all mocha. It's chocolate. It's coffee. It's not bad. I'll move it up here. I like coffee, but if you gave me that, I would eat it. But I don't think I would be personally looking for a coffee kit flavored Kit Kat. Next, we have Kit Kat Duo's Mint and Dark Chocolate. This one specifically says Dark Chocolate. Whereas the other one did not. Mm. It has that minty green top and that chocolatey bottom. It looks like the same color as the mocha one. The mocha one didn't say dark chocolate, it just said chocolate. It 
So these look like Andy's mints to me. They like Andy's mints. They're kind of mints. Some like you in a hotel and they're on your pillow. Very minty smelling. Let's see what it tastes like. Mint's always so refreshing in your mouth. It's not as intensely minty as like a York peppermint patty. I don't get the sensation. But it's tasty and crispy. It almost reminds me of like a, a Girl Scout Thin Mint. Okay. I like that one. Of the duos, that was my favorite. Next up, we go to ones, and these are the only ones that I have that actually say limited edition on them. So, these might have been a one-off. This might have been something that may or may not come in back and forth. But let's try. See what we think. The first one we're going to do is Kit Kat Apple Pie. I've mentioned this before, I'm going to bring it up again. Pepsi recently had a contest where they did a, an apple pie flavor. I think it was only 2,500 uh, bottles that went out. And they've been selling on eBay for like $100 each. It's ridiculous. If you're going to come up with the flavor, come out with the flavor. Give everyone an opportunity to taste it. Don't give opportunity to people to resell it. Anyway, Apple Pie Kit Kat. See, Kit Kat can do it. They made an Apple Pie flavor and they made it available for everyone. Oh, yeah. Very apple I didn't smell it until I put it in my nose, but it's very apple cinnamony smelling mm. that's good That one's very good. The apple flavor. Personally, I like apple pie. So, it tastes like apple pie. It's a flavor I like. I'm definitely going to give that thumbs up. But, it like, it was so, real, it was so delicious. They're like, when I'm chewing it up. It really makes my like mouth water and like not into any gruesome details but it almost makes me feel like I got like a warm apple pie with all like the apple juices in there really good lastly we have the Kit Kat birthday cake Birthday cake flavored things, or birthday flavored things. It's really just like a, a white cake with sprinkles. And what's weird is, it should really not taste like anything too spe specific. But we've all had birthday cake things before, birthday cake flavored things before. And you can't deny that it tastes like a birthday cake. This one's kind of broken in half, so. Here's what it looks like. You can see it has the sprinkles throughout, a white cream around the wafer. It definitely has that signature sprinkle crunch. Mm. 
We're like, every so often, every every time you chew, you're gonna get little sensations that you're like busting little rocks in your mouth. But those rocks are made of sugar, and they're not super hard. So you give you a nice crunch to them. It's interesting because they all already have the wafer that's crunchy. And those little sp sprinkle crunches. Which is a dead giveaway. That you're eating sprinkles. Now, I wouldn't say that this necessarily tastes like a birthday cake. What this reminds me of, and tell me if you, if this rings a bell in your mind. What this reminds me of is uh, these little cookies. In my mind, when I think about these cookies, they're like dinosaur dinosaur shaped cookies. But I think they've they come in other shapes and sizes as well. It's a little sh little cookie. It has like a smear of frosting. And then the sprinkles on top. And uh, usually grocery stores sell these in like the plastic containers. The clamshell. And that's what this tastes like. It's like really crunchy like the cookie. But also crunchy with the sprinkles. And then that just... I'm not saying bland, but just like one note sugary coating. And that's what this is. It really doesn't remind me of a birthday cake, necessarily, because it's too, it's too hard and crunchy. Um, but it does remind me of like those cookies that have the, the sprinkles on them. And it's not bad, but of the bars, apple pie, that's going to be the winner for me, and of the small seasonal packs. The Witch's Brew, the marshmallow flavor one, very good. Um, I don't think there's like a worst one, though. The Mocha Duo is probably my least favorite. Uh, just because like, I don't know, I like drinking coffee, but I don't like chewing on coffee. If that makes any sense. Or crunching on coffee. Though I have had cookies with my coffee. Like a Tim Tam. Um, I don't know what to tell you about that. You tell me what that means, psychologists out there. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I had four uh, bars of Kit Kat and four of the minis of the Kit Kats. And this is for the 2020 into the 2021. Kit Kat does have like a insider's club, kind of like Coke does, but right now it's closed for the year. Um, they probably sold out of that very early in the year. And for that one, it was you pay once and then they send you three boxes, but it's throughout the year. It's not like January, February, March, um, like how the Coca Cola Insiders Club is going to be January, February. The <laughs> Kit Kat Club. You get three boxes, but it's like spread out throughout the whole year, and you get uh, the new the new flavors they come out with. Um, I'm guessing the the raspberry and the lemon one are probably part of what would come out in the first part of the year, um, because that's what's out now. Or yeah, both of them are out now, but they probably got them earlier in in January, just so people had access to them before the general public. I think I actually think that's a really good idea. And if Pepsi, for example, was going to do uh, Insiders Club, that's a way that you can do the apple pie or the the hot cocoa ones. You make it available to everyone to purchase, buy into it, and then you send them new flavors, and you ask them what they think of it. And maybe that's how you test to see if it's good enough for the general public. Instead of 
randomly giving out to people and then those people either trying it or putting it on eBay for ridiculous prices because if I'm going to if I pay an eBay price for something it's going to change my opinion of how good it should be if if I'm paying fifty dollars or more for a two liter of Pepsi then if that Pepsi doesn't taste like gold then I'm not going to think it's a good thing and probably skew the whatever results of the opinions of people that you want about it so if you really want um, unbiased judgments of your new product either just put it out uh, as it for everyone to try or you do the insiders club where you pay a base price and you get to try a couple things over the year I would do it um, I'm already part of the coke insiders club so uh, that's the, it's definitely an interesting thing to me I think I'm rambling too much now I'm gonna end this video like and subscribe we'll see you next time Bye.